So after this activity, we need to find out the title of our lesson. What, which quality we can describe these actors by only one quality? Yes, generosity. So our lesson today will be about generosity. To mercy him and enter him. And how can you be generous to others? So guess, um, our learning objectives for our lesson today explain the nature of generosity, the meaning of generosity, cite examples and symbols indicating acts of generosity and generous figures, count the harm for effects of stagnation on the individual and society, conclude the benefits of generosity. Let's Look to these gestures and try to describe what is happening in these gestures and what is the dominant feeling that those people have and what is the common feature that they have. First, what the meaning of generosity? Generosity, this term is meant to describe all types of acts of goodness, giving, bestowal, spending, and donation which deserve to be prized and thanked. And I need you to explain the meaning of generosity by your own words. Examples for generosity. Number one, generosity of Allah. What do you know about generosity of Allah? Yes. Allah, glory be to Him, bestowed upon us more and more things or blessings, such as He created you from nothing. He created you in the best shape. He created you straight. He gave you hands, eyes, ears, mouth, tongue, legs, and more things in your body. And He created you all things in the heaven and in the earth to help you in your life or to make your life easy and to make you happy so after you know that what is your duty toward Allah yes you should worship believe and thank Allah about all his bounties about us Second, generosity of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and here mentioned here to you three examples for the generosity of Prophet Muhammad, and I will only mention one. The one day, the one came to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and asked him for money. The Prophet وسلم, gave him a herd of sheep filling an area between two mountains. Not, give, not only give him 50 dirham or 100 dirham or 1000, no. Give him a herd of sheep. A herd filling of sheep in the area between two mountains. You, you can imagine what this generosity of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu And when this man returned to his people, he said to them, Oh my people, impress Islam, enter Islam. The Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad 
gives like one who has no fear of poverty. And after that, all people for this man enter Islam for generosity of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Number three, with generosity of people, and here mentioned here the generosity of Sheikh Zayd, and we mentioned this in the beginning of our lesson. And I need to hear from you, mention a situation for your generosity. Mention situation you was in it generous. Number three of our learning objectives, types of generosity. Number one, generosity to Allah. Note the difference between the previous learning objectives, examples for generosity, and here types of generosity. Here, how to be generous to Allah, you. How to be generous after you know that Allah is generous and he bestowed upon you more blessings. How to be generous with Allah as he is generous with you? Yes, thank. Yes, you should to believe in him and worship him and do all his commands. And number two, generosity to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. After you know the generosity of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, how to be generous with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Think. Yes. Yeah. To be generous with the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, follow his sunnah. Follow his example, follow his manners, follow his good quality, doing his sunnah, sunnah's prayers, doing his du'as, doing his sunnah fasting, and when you hear or mention in front of you his name, you should to say, Very good. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Number three, generosity with your self, with your soul. Challenge question, how to be generous with your soul, with yourself? Yeah, think. Yes, to be generous with yourself, Adhere yourself by good manners, by good deeds. If you do, if you did this, you will be generous, and Allah love the generous. And try to complete this sentence. I react to those who ill treat with me by, yes, by tolerance, by good words, by forgiveness. Okay. Number four, to generosity to your parents and your friends. And I need to answer this question. How to be generous with your parents and friends? Try to answer this question by yourself. Then, this question, try to write down here four other examples that Demonstrate the UAE generous contribution, and I help with you in two, and I need you to add another two. Number one, aid to the families of the martyrs, and number two, building housing for the afflicted. Do you know what the meaning of martyrs and afflicted? Yeah, martyrs, those people who die in the war 
or while they defense on their country and afflicted yeah afflicted those countries that happen in them war earthquake or thunder quick or any bad act so government of UAE was hurry to help the families of martyrs and the countries afflicted countries here stigness what the meaning of a stigness do you know yeah think yeah, stagnant is the opposite of generosity. The opposite of generosity. And here you need to match by line between the meaning of stagnant. You have four sentences here. I will help you in one. You will match only with the correct meaning for stagnant. Okay, not this. I will help you in one. Stigness means selfishness and love of money. Is this correct or not? Yes, this describes the stigness. Stigness person who are selfishness, he loves more himself and love his money and did not love the others, did not respect others, did not like to help and give others. You need to complete to match by the other correct meaning for thickness by matching. And after you know the meaning of thickness, you need to complete the learning objective number four, harmful of thickness. The Prophet said, and beware of thickness because it destroyed those who were before you it incited them to shed their blood and deem unlawful as lawful narrated by ahmed after you know the meaning of stigness and after you explain the meaning of this hadith try to answer this activity the harm for effects of stagnant on individual and on society yeah on individual people maybe hit him and a lot of this him and on society spread hatred and enemy among people Number five of our learning objectives, the benefits of generosity and I divided you, divided you already three groups. Each group has different activity. Group number one, the green one, WA, will you need to write direct in notes. Uh, the benefits of generosity and the group number two the orange one we you need to compare between the generosity and the stigness and that Allah the benefits of generosity is here like here This summarize of our lesson here. We will mention the benefits of generosity in this in the fourth thing. Uh, number one, definition of generosity, giving, helping, and doing good to others. The types of generosity to Allah, to Prophet, to parents, and to neighbors, to classmates, to teacher, to anyone in your community. And the harmful effects of stagnant 
we know that on individual you will take good uh, bad deeds sorry and the people not like you and allah will not love you and on society will spread the hatred and the enemy among people and the uh, community will be not linked and will be not strong and the benefits of generosity allah will love you will give you good deeds uh, will bless you and will enter you jannah and link with the quran allah glory be to him say a'udhu billahi min ash shaitanir rajeem ولا يحسبن الذين يبخلون بما آتاهم الله من فضله هو خير لهم بل هو شر لهم سيطوقون ما بخلوا به يوم القيامة ولله ميراث السماوات والأرض والله بما تعملون خبير and I can say to you the meaning of this verse that Allah say to those people, those ignorant people, not think when they be selfishness and love their money more. This is God for for them. No, this will be bad upon them not only in the world but also in the hereafter because they do bad deeds and they need to be generous because Allah bestowed upon you by this money so as Allah is generous with you you should to be generous with is Cervantes with others and help and give them as Allah give you and remember this my own word give to give help to help what the meaning of this my own word when you give others Allah will give you more when you help others Allah will help and protect you and link with life i need to with your behavior make a list of what i will do to be generous and the second you need to identify three personalities from my country who are my role models in generosity and cite evidence indicating their generosity and this your homework to then this activities you should to answer these pages 200 and 205 and 206 and this is higher thinking skills creativity and innovation for group you will talk about generosity of Allah and the second generosity of Prophet Muhammad and the third gener generosity of Sheikh Zayed and number four group number four generosity of its effect is on the society and number e, uh, the group number E different ways of being generous okay and you can talk about all these parts of this activity on your hobby book and upload to me on your class room and i will add it to those of who send to me this activity and i know that he watched the video extended activity expressing your own words what you have done in the year of giving also try to answer this activity at home and upload it application for this activity on classroom our link is for our lesson with arabic what is the arabic word for generosity is al-karam 
Al-Karam. With life, how to be generous in your life, with your families, with your family, with your classmates, with your neighbors and teachers, with your EE. What do you know about here, Zaid? Generosity. Challenge the question. UAE country of generosity. Explain this phrase. And our resources for our lesson, Islamic book, YouTube, pictures, PowerPoint, and internet. At the end of our lesson, if you can, propose some ideas of being generous, generous and design a poster on the generosity of Allah, Muhammad, and Sheikh Zayed. You will be excellent. And our value was generosity. The plenary of our lesson, right in your note card, try to answer the question of our learning objectives for our lesson and also take a picture for this activity and upload it on your classroom and I will add it to Dojo for who do this. Our homework I mentioned before. Try to answer some sectors. Page it from 204 to 200. In the end of our lesson, I hope all of you are understanding from our lesson and useful from it. And I hope of each one take care by yourself and your family. Try to answer to uh, finish your uh, homework and. The activities that I told you to answer, and in the end of our lesson, thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.